So today I'm going to show you how to very quickly build 15 gallons of worm bedding. And I'm going to go through the ingredients that I have here uh, one by one and show you uh, what all goes into this. So I've got my cardboard shreds in the back. They're actually loaded into the, uh, uh, the containers I'll be storing the bedding in. So you see about four gallon of shreds in there. It's always a good idea to go on with your dry materials. Put those in uh, the container, the storage container. That way, you know you're going to be pretty close at the end. Uh, so you see four gallon there in, in each bucket. And then I've got three gallon of peat moss here. Uh, then I've got two quarts of uh, fresh worm castings. I've got a good handful of garden lime. And I've got two quarts of compost and a pretty full can of spent coffee grounds. And I've got some water over here. So that's about three gallon of water. We're gonna need a little bit more than that. Um, I'll get that uh, later as needed. So now I'm gonna walk you through how you put this together. So first, I'm gonna take my cardboard shreds. I wanna dump those into my little wagon here, a cart. Wheelbarrow will be fine. So I'm gonna get all those dumped in. So now I know I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close on the cardboard shreds. Now, the, the, big, the big item here is to get this peat moss hydrated. So I'm probably gonna make a mess right here. So I'm gonna take this and all I'm doing, all I'm doing is kind of splitting this up to make it easier to hydrate. So I'm gonna put about a gallon in each one. You don't have to be precise because it doesn't matter. It's all going in the uh, wagon anyway. So I'm just kind of, you know, to divide and conquer here. So. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my water. Should take about, should take about a gallon gallon each probably just overfilled the first one that's okay a little bit more here so that's about three gallon total so it looks a little bit more than a gallon if I didn't notice the camera shut off, uh, those amendments I had uh, in the floor, those were one by one mixed into the three five gallon buckets um, and then dumped over top of the cardboard shreds. So this is, uh, this is what I want to use for nitrogen. It's actually a better protein source than it is nitrogen. Um, high in carb, high in protein, it's ground up bird seed. And it's, it's a really good thing to use, it's all I have. Um, yard clippings, that sort of thing works really well too. You just have to be careful, don't put too much in it. Uh, you, don't want, you don't want this stuff to overheat in the buckets. You know, it's not gonna, it's, volume wise, it's not gonna get too hot. But you just, you just wanna, you wanna get the, the biology working, that's, that's all you wanna do. So I'm gonna add some of this. Not a lot, just a little coat. I don't know, maybe, maybe a couple cups there maybe. Okay, we're gonna stir this in. Probably just a little bit wet. Let's see. Yeah, that's, that's a little on the wet side. It really is. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add some more cardboard shreds to this. A little on the wet side. 
it might be okay. Yeah, it's too soggy. All right, I'll be back. So here's about uh, two more gallon paper shreds. Yes, there we go, that's good. All right, time to load her up. There's two. I think we're barely going to have the three. Change shovels. So I won't keep you around for the rest of the cleanup. Um, <clears throat> You want to make sure that you put lids, lids on this stuff to keep, uh, keep insects out, things like that. They'll get in there and um, lay eggs and that sort of thing. So uh, stuff stores really well. Uh, you need, need to at least wait about a week or so uh, just to to get the biology going and then after that worms will love it they will go right into it i've been on uh it's kind of my uh seasonal cycle here with vermiculture bedding and and all that and i'll do some videos on my bigger system I kind of bring everything outside and i have to get everything set up and i do this about four times a year so it just happens to be I just happen to be in that cycle. So I want to do some videos on it to show you how I do things. So I want to bring up a few things uh, about worm bedding. One is the use of cocoa core. Be very careful with it. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the stuff has salt in it. Salt is just death on worms. If you use it, make sure you soak it. Soak it warm water. Soak it overnight. <laughs> uh, and rinse thoroughly, okay? I've, I've, only time I used it was the only time I had a problem uh, with worms. So I wanna bring up a few things uh, about worm bedding. One is the use of cocoa core. Be very careful with it. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the stuff has salt in it. Salt is just death on worms. If you use it, make sure you soak it. Soak it warm water. Soak it overnight. Uh, and rinse thoroughly, okay? I've, I've, only time I used it was the only time I had a problem uh, with worms. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do an instructional video on how to make worm bedding and, and not add that piece of information from my personal experience. I'm not saying it's all bad, I'm not saying there's 10 million people out there that aren't successful with it. Okay, so pe people are using it. People love it. I'm just saying, for your worm bin, make sure you rinse that stuff, okay? And then the, the second item would be calcium. So worms require a lot of calcium uh, for their digestive system. 
you see a lot of people grinding up eggshells and all this kind of stuff. Uh, what you saw today in the video was the dolomatic lime that, that I put in my bedding, about a cup. So those worms, they'll, uh, they'll ingest that. And so really, that's, that's, that's all you need, okay? That's my opinion. That's my experience. If you want to grind up eggshells and, uh, and do, do all that kind of stuff and it, you know, it makes you feel better, go on and do it. I just want to point that out. Uh, I think that's that's important. You know, the you put the stuff in up front, you set yourself up for success, and uh, a lot of this stuff is just un unnecessary um, if you think about it. So that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by, and see you in the next video.